fighters, the first time you start to feel a disadvantage, you're gonna go to your bread and butter, so we'll see when that happens. We're going to the tail of the tape right now. Both these men weighed in on weight, and we've got virtually identical statistics throughout. Let's kick it back over to Jared to get this action started. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, it's Kyle Wrestling. He weighs in at 70 kilograms, representing Sheriff Punjab, Rajbir Mera! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His side by side boxing and jiu jitsu. He weighs in at 70 kilograms. Representing Bangalore Tigers, it's David Holland! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Alan Fernandez. Alright guys, you've been through the rules of the locker room. Any questions? If you want, touch gloves, step back to your corner. I think we do have an excellent matchup on our hands, as you were just mentioning to me there, Gary. I think uh, this experience that David Alex brings into the cage could pay dividends for him, but we've got a young and hungry Roger Biermera looking to come out here and make a name for himself. Yeah, there definitely is a record, and it seems like David is has a bigger frame coming into this, but the hungry lion, you can't, you can't have that on paper, so you don't know that's something deep within Roger Biermera that we're going to see if he can bring out. We've got Mera in the brown shorts. We've got Alex in the blue. Alex looking really smooth with a lot of movement so far. Rocking the black Bengaluru Tiger short. Loving what I'm seeing. Yeah, he's gonna look for an opening. He's, he's, he's messing around with it, going with the level changes, kind of, just kind of feeling out the cage. Yeah, he you can tell care. with his head movement right now, he's looking for different openings. He feels very comfortable on his feet, but We've got an opponent that could shoot in at any point for a takedown, so he's got to be very careful about the, the combinations that he puts together. Ooh. Nice counter left hook on the inside from Alex. Yeah, he's staying patient with it. He's looking for that perfect shot. Where's Rajbir trying to go for the takedown, tries to get two under hooks underneath there. Rajbir did not like what he felt in that hook and did shoot in for a takedown, but Alex shows great hips, defends the takedown. He's trying to pummel under right now with his left arm to get an under hook. But so far, Rajbir able to put some pressure on him against the cage. But you can see Alex is setting up the tie clinch now, and there it is. There, there's a knees that come up right up the middle. Beautiful Muay Thai plum. He's got excellent control, but he lets it go. Oh, no, he's still got a hold of it. And out of that exchange, Rajbir does a good job of throwing a punch. You want to see strikes out of exchanges. You can see Alex is still relaxed. Rajbir looks a little bit kind of frantic, but he's still pushing forward. A switch kick followed by some punches from Rajbir. He's just opening up. He needs to be very careful for counters. He shoots in for a takedown, comes back up with some more punches. These guys are throwing heat. Rajbir's bringing out the lion, just like I was saying, something deep within you that, that, that doesn't get you intimidated. He's still coming forward with what he can. Rajbir keeps trying to change levels underneath Alex's punches, but when he changes levels, he's not getting down to his hips. He's only getting to his abdomen. You're not gonna be able to finish a takedown when you do that. And he's also open to a knee right up the middle if he isn't aware, if Alex realizes what's going on. He seems like he doesn't have his eyes forward, and Rajbir could be set up for a knee. Nice punch on the inside. Good. There's that knee, just like you were talking about a second ago, but doesn't quite land cleanly. This is where experience is going to play a factor. Seems like Alex is still relaxed. He's still kind of feeling it out. Rajbir seems like he's kind of tightened up right now, but he still has a lot of fight in him. Rajbir not fully committing on those punches. If you're going to throw punches, you need to commit. Otherwise, you're just leaving yourself open for counters. And now he's eating another knee. And again, Alex into this Muay Thai clinch. He's got a fantastic plum with some heavy, sharp knees. Yeah. Now, Rajbir is still working underneath the underhooks, but I feel like every time they get in these exchanges right here and they separate, Rajbir's tank kind of falls apart, and Alex is still kind of relaxed. I can see that Alex is real relaxed right now. He doesn't seem like he's too threatened about the takedown, where Rajbir just kind of holding him there because he doesn't want to separate from this. I think it's over. And, and does not do a good job of getting that hip toss and ends up. Gives up with, his back. Yeah, he's all over him right now. He's got one hook in, can you try to sink the other one? And he's got both of them in. This is a really bad spot for Rajbir. Rajbir's just trying to hang on, and he has been for a little bit now, Gary. Yeah, it definitely seems like he's trying to hang on. Uh, he's working the wrists a little bit, but I don't know if he knows what to do with them. At least it's keeping Alex from being able to slip his arm 
around the neck of Raj Beer. That's the last thing you want. But again, he's just desperately holding on. And Alex can sit here as long as he wants. He's in dominant position. He's gonna position. try to fly no more. You can tell he's trying to press his hamstring through and I think he's going for the spread here. I think we'll see it in the next few seconds here. That puts a lot of pressure on your yeah. lower back too, doesn't it, Gary? It does, and also the top guy, what people don't realize, it burns your legs, man. It really does if you are not, if you That's feel like you're not getting it. Like right now, this is burning Alex's legs. That's a very good point oh, you bring it's up. Deep. It's deep. It but this is why you let that burn happen is because you don't want to let go of this position because no matter what your opponent does, you can stay on his back, and he gets the tap. Very impressive stuff from David Alex as he gets a victory in his SFL debut. <laughs> To, moves his record to 11 and 2, and this man just put the Bangalore Tigers up by one point. What a match we have going! Definitely, he brought it. He stayed technical. He got the rear naked choke the way you should get it. Got in the two hooks, spread them out, and put them back on top. He went for kind of a roll here, and but he kept his hooks in, which is huge. In these scrambles, this is where you can set up your rear naked chokes, especially where a guy is kind of just caught up in the roll. You can set up your chokes here, and that's exactly what he did. Spread him out, time it up, and put it away. And when he was rolling through with that, it opened up the neck of his opponent, and his opponent was not defending. It took advantage of that small opportunity that he had. Definitely, that's one of the techniques right there that you can call the guy to roll and make his neck open up, and he definitely used that right there. Outstanding stuff from David Alex, and what? A competition we have rolling tonight. This I still can't take away from Raj Beer. He put up a good fight. He's, he's a warrior, man. The only one guy coming in here. Put up a fight. Wasn't intimidated. Kept coming forward. Just didn't have the technique. And, that, and that's really what it came down to. He's going to learn a lot from this experience, too. This is a big stage with a lot of pressure. He's going to be able to take a lot of things away from this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, Rep Alvin Cole is top of the fight in the first round in 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Declaring the winner, submission by the rear naked choke from the Bangalore Tigers, David Alex! Baby, see if it's hot. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Bangalore Tigers are now leading with 10 points. Bangalore Tigers doing it once again back into the game. A very big congratulations to you, David. How are you feeling? How's he feeling? Parabéns, e como você está se sentindo? Pô, tô me sentindo muito bem. Em primeiro lugar, agradecer a Deus. E tô um ano e pouco sem lutar aí. Tive umas lesão, me atrapalhou bastante. No, do, durante esse um ano aí, não consegui lutar. E agora, pô, tô voltando com essa vitória e é onde eu não esperava. Seria no jiu-jitsu. Então quer dizer que eu melhorei bastante o meu jiu-jitsu e representei aí a, a, a bandeira aí do, do jiu-jitsu brasileiro. E mais uma finalização aí, uma não, a primeira finalização da minha carreira, porque eu sou strike e todas as minhas lutas é porrada em pé. Hey! I just understood the hey part. Now he's going to translate the rest for us. So, uh, he says he's really happy, thank God for the victory. And he don't expect that, that he come like a... After one year, we don't fight because have a lot of injuries, but it's really happy. He improved his jiu-jitsu because he's more stand-up guy, but he's really happy, happy and take everyone to come and really happy to be here. Thank you very much. He's thankful to all of you for supporting him and for coming out here and cheering for him. Congratulations once again. For now, it's back to some live action. What an outstanding performance from David Alex. Again, he puts the Bengaluru Tigers up by one.